Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a haul video for you and um, I've got quite a lot of stuff from Primark um, which I'm going to show you guys obviously because it's mainly going to be a Primark haul and then I've got probably about two or three things from somewhere else. So predominantly this is going to be a big Primark haul. Um, this is going to be stuff to do with like sort of spring and getting stuff for my holiday. Um, but yeah, I posted a picture on Instagram and people were saying they liked hauls so that's why I'm doing this video. So let me just show you all of my Primark bags that I've bought. Um, some of them are filled pretty much with like um, only like two or three things or something, they're just bigger items. So hopefully this video won't take too long. So I'm gonna stop talking and jump right in. So in the first bag, um, oh, I just really want to say really quickly, um, I think it was in my, what's on my iPhone um, and like my iPhone case collection that I'd said that um, someone really close to me had passed away and I just want to say thank you so much to all the really lovely messages you guys have sent me. It's meant so much because um, it is quite hard to still be like cheery and happy in a video when you've lost someone that you really love and care about and I just want to say thank you so much because it's just, it makes it so much easier um, once people know and that you're, if people think oh you look a little bit down, why could it be and it's just, yeah. But anyway, I just want to say thank you very much. You're all really, really sweet, and I appreciate all the lovely messages. So let's jump in, and I'll show you what's in this bag. So the first thing, which pretty much takes up the whole bag, is another bag. And um, I got this because in my... It looks like this, basically. So it's this really big kind of white overnight sort of weekend bag. And it's got um, all these sort of, like, dots in it and... Um, I say dots, they're not, they're like loads of little sort of diamond cutouts. Um, it was £12 um, and it's just got the silver detailing here, the two handles there and then also one as well that you can put over your shoulder and then you can obviously expand it as well and it does clip off if you don't want it. Now the reason why I've got this is because um, last time when I went to America I bought so much stuff that I ended up putting, it sounds really gross, I put well I put this flat in the bottom of my case when I packed it and then when I come back I just put like all my basically all my laundry and all my like clothes that I'd taken with me pretty much in here so that everything new that I'd bought I could put in my suitcase um, so I've measured it and it fits absolutely fine the guys in Primark were really helpful because they got me a tape measure so I could just double check it was the right size but it is really big um, and it's just perfect but also I just thought it would be quite nice for um, if Dan and I stay away over a weekend or anything. So I got that. Um, I got some of these. I've seen loads of people buying these, but um, they are really handy to have just these little hair clips. They're £1.50 for a pack of eight. I think they're good if you're just, if you're doing some sort of hairstyle or um, you're, you know, I'm doing some cleaning around the house, then I can shove them up. They're £1.50, they're probably not gonna last five minutes. They feel really flimsy in the packet, but for £1.50, it's not really too much. Um, of a problem and then the only piece of jewellery that I got I didn't buy any statement necklaces guys you'll probably be surprised because I love buying my statement necklaces is just this pack of eight um, mixture of midi and regular um, thumb rings as well they were £2.50 for these um, I will try and do a close up of these actually because I think they are really really beautiful um, I absolutely love them I think they're so nice they're kind of like a slightly slightly off brush silver and then you've got like this lovely peachy um, pink and then that's like, blue and um, I really like them I thought they were quite different but I'll try and do a close-up of those so you can have a look. I also picked up some sunglasses. The reason why I picked up these sunglasses is because whenever I go away like I've got my Ray-Bans and I love my Ray-Bans but if I'm by a pool I'm constantly taking my glasses on and off sometimes they end up on the floor if I'm just going to jump in the pool if I take them in the pool and I just I don't, I'd worry that I'd break them and I absolutely love my Ray-Bans. So I wanted to buy like a really cheap pair and these are 150 and they're kind of like, they've got a slight cat eye, not massively, um, but I liked the thick black as well and I just thought they looked really nice. So, and they come as well with like a little thing to carry them with. So they're perfect to like pop in your, um, in your, like in your swim bag. I hope, well, maybe I should take this off so you can have a look properly. Okay, let's have a look. I hope that they suit me. I can't see like, I hope that they look alright. But I quite liked them because they were, they're not at 
absolutely massive. I've got some that make me look like I've got like bug eyes, but I quite liked these. They're quite comfortable to wear as well. And these are sort of like, if they get trid on or broken, it's not gonna be the end of the world because they were only £1.50, but they actually feel quite sturdy glasses. So got those. Moving on to my next bag. That's gonna be my phone. Moving on to the next bag. Um, I got some random little pocket tissues, they were 50p for a pack of four and I always like to take them um, in my luggage, not in my luggage, well some in my luggage but also on my like um, carry on um, and they're also good just to have in my handbag on general. I also then picked up some cotton pads, these are only a pound, um, so I've got one lot because I need some for here and then one to take away with me as well, um, so that's exciting. And then, um, oh yeah, the only bit of beauty, this is kind of, a, it's not from Primark, um, are these two nail polishes from Barry M. They're the quick dry like speedy ones and the bluey one is Eat My Dust and the lovely sort of corally one is In A Heartbeat and I just thought they're really really pretty and I wanted some fast drying ones to take with me on holiday so that I'm not sitting around waiting for ages um, for them to dry so hopefully they're quite nice. I thought they were both quite nice spring and summery colours and um, will look quite nice when I've got a tan. Um, and then the last thing in here was a backpack and it's just this nude backpack with the um, gold detailing here and here, well it's like rose gold, you've got pockets either side as well um, and then it just has a zip at the top um, and it's just like a big bucket really inside and I wanted this to take on the plane, now I normally have got like my Ted Baker kind of shopper bag um, but I always feel like there's no clasp or anything, so anyone could put anything in there. I don't know if that makes me paranoid or not. Um, but also, if I put it under the seat in front of me on the plane, I was worried things are going to fall out of it. So I thought, you know, why not go for a backpack? Um, I can keep all the documents in there. And we're doing the Grand Canyon as well. Um, and I thought it'd just be good to have a backpack for, like, different things if we're doing lots of walking on um, different trips and stuff. So I really liked this. This was... £10 and it is in nude, it's coming up a funny colour on camera but it's a really lovely kind of pinky nude and I love the like kind of rose goldy sort of detail that it's got and yes that's going to be my airport bag, I couldn't believe that I was like getting a backpack when I tried it on, I thought I felt like a school kid again because I just hadn't got into the backpack craze um, but I really really like that. Next in my last Primark bag which has got the most of the stuff in um, is mainly all clothes. So the, um, one of the things I did buy was some denim shorts and they've got this really lovely like lacy kind of, well it's not lace, it's crochet um, pattern just on the sides. Um, they're like a really lovely, what colour do they call them? Just light blue, a light blue wash. Um, and they are mini shorts. I've got them in a 12 because I've got a, quite a big booty guys. So um, I got them in a 12. I really like them, they're really nice. I'm never confident in shorts, but um, I've got to have shorts to go on holiday with. So I thought I might put a bit of fake tan on um, a few days before I go so it fades once I've got a bit of a real tan there. But just a little bit to give me a bit of colour so I feel a bit more confident in them. Because when I put them on I was like, oh my god, I have such lily white legs. But I really like these. They were £13. Um, and I just thought they were really nice and really pretty. Next, um, I got this kind of like crochet, um, they say it's an ivory but white crochet, um, kind of like waistcoaty vest thing that's got these really long tassels and I really liked crochet and some of it was around last year but not massively but I feel like this year it's really, um, it's really sort of hitting the shops properly and I really liked this and what I wanted to do was find some light blue denim shorts that I found to wear it with something like this and just like a vest top underneath. Um, and yeah, so I really liked that. I, did I say it was £12? I have said it's £12 now. But um, really pretty, they are quite long and I feel like it's incorporating the whole kind of um, tassels that are really in this summer as well as the crochet as well. So I really like that. The next thing in here was some pyjamas and um, I always like to take new pyjamas away with me but also to kind of have some more summery ones and get away from the trousers. Um, for wearing in bed and the, I got it as a set these two and because like I said I'm bigger down the bottom I'm definitely a pear shape um, I always need like a 12 in bottoms but a top I'm usually like maybe an 8 to 10 um, so I'd always pick a small but the problem is this was a set 
Um, so you had to get it in like 10 to 12 because the 6 to 8 would just never fit. It probably wouldn't even fit one leg. So um, this was, I think they were £5. I'm sure it was £5 for this set. And it's just a cropped top that just says, hello gorgeous. Um, and it's grey with the pink. And then the matching shorts that sort of came with it, um, was this got the purple on it? Are these kind of just these um, navy blue and white polka dot um, little shorts. And I just thought that was really sweet. Next um, is this really, really nice like little, um, it looks quite bright green, but it's like a mint green. Um, a mint green, it's, oh, it's quite creased as well. It's kind of like a knitted material, but it's really light. You definitely wear it in summer. Um, and it's got this really nice like high neck um, and quite deep armholes. And it's quite a nice, really light material. They had them in like white, black, they had a stripy one, the mint, there was like yellow, kind of an orangey color, like coral. Um, and I was gonna pick up the white and black and I thought I'm trying to not wear so much white and black. I think I've said that in every haul video. Um, no doubt, I do, when I picked it up, I was like, oh, I might get it in white and black as well, but I didn't. Um, it was only five pound and I just think it looks really nice and I thought it looked quite nice. Um, with the shorts as well because the colour looked really pretty. I then picked up just like a new, another basic um, white strappy top. These were £2.50 I think. £2.50 so I got a white one and I also got a black one. I always think when it comes up to summer I always need some more. To be honest nearly every time I go to Primark I want to get new vest tops just to because I think they fade and they lose their shape and for £2.50 each oh, that's a bargain. Um, the next thing, oh yeah, the next thing um, was not for the holiday at all, but, and I'm not into slogan t-shirts too much, but I really liked this, just a central perk one, it's really, really soft, and it feels like such good quality material, um, but it's just this t-shirt that's got the cuff sleeves, um, it is quite long as well, and when I put it on, I really liked it, and I picked it up in a size 8, because they're quite baggy as it is anyway, and it's still quite baggy on. Um, yeah, six pound and Central Perk. It's just like Friends is one of my all-time favourite programs. And when I saw that, I was like, I've just got to have that, guys. Um, next is one of these kind of bardo-y kind of off-the-shoulder tops, and it's just blue and white stripe, and it's the short sleeves. I did have a long sleeve one, um, but I wanted to go for the um, short sleeve. These were three pound fifty. They had them in also in like white and black and other colours and. Um, I did want them in white and black as well, but they didn't have it in a size 10, they were only in 12s and bigger, so it didn't fit me. I tried them, but so yeah, I thought this was quite pretty um, to take away on holiday. I bought lots of pants, which I'm not going to show you, but I always go and buy lots of pants when I go. Um, and I also got these flip-flops that I just thought were really pretty. They're like a beigey colour, like faux leather. Um, and then also kind of like rose gold, um, like diamonty, not diamonty, diamond shapes all the way down. And then I really liked as well, like the side of them, because they've got all this um, kind of like pulley, um, sort of stretchy string sort of detail. And then again, all the diamond, uh, I keep saying diamonty guys, it's diamonds. The diamond rose gold pattern all on the side. And they're just stretchy ones, so they've got no buckles or anything. This, were, they were eight pound. Um, and I just thought they were really nice and they're kind of similar colours with this, I thought that looked quite cute. So, got those. So that's everything from Primark, I did get quite a few bits, I think I spent like 90 quid in Primark. Um, and then randomly, just a couple of things, one thing I got from New Look was um, some plimp soles which I want to wear on the plane. And they're just these really, really lovely mint gold, um, they're actually kind of like a snake print on the front which you can hardly see. But um, I love them. They're $14.99. And yeah, I just they'd be really nice. They're quite comfortable. Um, I'm a size 6, but the size 6 was absolutely huge. I'd walk and they'd literally be coming completely off my heel. Um, so I picked up a size 5, which feels maybe a tiny weeny little bit tight. Um, but they'll stretch a bit. Because as soon as I was walking around in them a little bit, I already feel, felt they had a little bit of give. So that's good. Um, and also I will wear them with um, like slippery... like little really really small sort of tight socks thing actually that's a good point i bought some of them where are they oh here they are this is what also i got from primark guys was some seamless footies this two pairs and that's what i will wear um with these so and they were one pound thirty for two i knew i had something else 
Um, and then the last two other items that I've got coming to the end guys I know it's been quite a big haul was actually from Misguided and I bought these a couple of weeks ago probably about two weeks ago so they are super creased but it's this let's move that out of the way um, white top that's got like this sheer bit in the middle but actually when you put it on you you can not really see it very well it looks like you would be able to but you really can't see anything too much um, and I really like this, it's so creased. And then there is this really big sort of hole in the back as well. And I thought that's, you could wear that during the day um, with some like, really pretty shorts and maybe tuck them in or something. But also in the evening that's quite nice with like a really small sort of um, like necklace like this. Um, and I really liked that. Now it doesn't have the price on it and I can't remember how much it was but I don't think it would be too expensive. Um, probably about a tenner or something. If I can find it online, I will have it linked down below for you. And then the last thing was also from Misguided. Was um, I remember how much these were? These were twenty pounds. Was these um, really heavy suede um, shorts? They are really quite weighty, um, and they're just this really gorgeous. They call it like a taupey colour. They're so soft. Oh my god, they are so soft, and. Um, they just yeah they just like turned up at the bottom and I really liked it with the idea when I put this on and had the white and sort of tucked it in um with also like these flip flops I think would just look really really lovely if you want sort of a casual um evening or to be honest just to go shopping in and stuff it just kind of dresses it up a bit I really love them I really begrudge the idea of spending 20 pounds on something from misguided because I don't think their quality is that great but these are such lovely quality. They feel amazing. The texture of them's lovely. They're so soft. I felt confident in them. Definitely will need to have a tan with these because they do wash you out quite a bit. Um, but that's what fake tans for. And yeah, I just love them. I did get them in a 12, so they are quite loose. They're not, I probably could have fitted in a 10, um, but I felt comfortable in these and they, they didn't feel like um, they were gonna fall down or anything, but I really liked them. So that's everything so that's everything that I've bought um, for my holiday um, I think you guys that you've already seen my um, triangle fake like dupe bikini from um, that I did a review on which I'm also taking and I've got some other stuff I'm gonna take with me but that's everything that I bought from Primark misguided and new look recently I hope you guys have enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you've liked it and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys